What's up buds, it's Fly High FPV. Uh, I just got a new package in the mail. These are motors from MEPS. Uh, they sent me these completely free. They told me they would like me to do a review and unboxing and stuff like that and they want me to sign a contract saying that they're gonna get prior approval of any content I release. Uh, I ain't signing no contract. I ain't doing anybody any favors. I am I'm gonna take a fair and honest look at these motors and tell you guys what I think. Uh, just based on my first uh, impressions here, obviously I haven't had a chance to wire them up yet. I've just pulled them out of the package and just wanna take a close look and see. Um, first thing uh, is obviously they're pretty. Um, looks like it's a uh, aluminum unibel design. So you've got an aluminum body, uh, aluminum spokes. These do look pretty thin. I'm worried about the spokes strength. Uh, I got a feeling that's going to be a point of failure for them. Uh, coils look really nice. Looks like a good thick uh, heavy gauge wire. Um, pretty neat. Not the neatest I've ever seen, but still pretty neat. Um, one thing I don't really dig is these motors. Instead of having a flat base on them, they've got these like posts. I'm not sure who's that for, what frame fits those, but I, I see no advantage of that. That seems like a, a disadvantage. I'm not sure why you would put those on there. You know, normally the bottom of the motor is going to be flat so that it sits right on the carbon fiber. It almost looks like this screw, center hub screw, sits up too high, and so they raise these up in order to counter for it not positive. Uh, I do like that there's a big glob of epoxy on the wire here. That should actually just help reinforce the wire a little bit. Um, I've been known to pull wires out, so that's definitely uh, an advantage I feel like. I like that. Um, they did say these are titanium shafts. Uh, something else I noticed, the hardware bag that came with it looks almost identical to the hardware bags that come with my T-Motors. It's possible they're just sourcing the hardware from the same place, but they came with uh, two lengths of 12.9 cap head screws, which is terrific. And the other thing I noticed was this. Um, this is the same prop nut that T-Motor uses. And here's the one for off of a T-Motor. Mine's obviously been chewed up, because that's what I do. But these are, in fact, the same prop nuts the T-Motor uses. Also, this kit's got the same green ring, the same washer. It really does feel like uh, the same hardware kits that I get from my T-Motors. Um, but then let's just do a little more of a comparison between the actual motors I run. These are the T-Motor F60s and uh, these MEPs. The first thing I notice that the windings look pretty similar. You've got quite a bit less hub meat though. These spokes in here just look quite a bit thinner. They're tall, but very, very thin. Makes me concerned about the durability of them. Uh, we look at the bottom, you'll notice it's quite a bit larger diameter motor. Um, these are 2207 and a half, so these are 2207s, but the 2207 and a half should be a little taller. Stator's probably taller. But the uh, the diameter does not look the same. I think that they are just quite a bit wider diameter. You can also see the magnets here. Looks like they're, they're both using curved magnets, but the uh, T-motor magnets are quite a bit smaller. I'm assuming they're more dense. Air gap looks pretty tight. These do have a nice smooth feel. They're not very notchy. And you got this typical steel ring underneath the uh, bottom of the bell to help keep the magnets from falling out. Uh, all in all, it looks pretty decent. We're gonna have to, uh, to put it in the air and see. Uh, let's just take a quick look at it on the scale. Thirty-four and a half, almost thirty-five grams. That's a big.
big heavy motor. 31.7. There's a big difference in the amount of wire here, but I don't know if I can accurately weigh this while holding the wire. <laughs> it's quite a bit heavier though. Uh, also, when I look at the specs, this one produces quite a bit less thrust. Uh, this one is around 1600 thrust on a uh, 51466 from Gemfan. And this same, uh, this motor on the same prop is like 1780. It's quite a bit more thrust and a lighter weight. So, uh, unless this is a more durable motor, uh, or a much, much cheaper motor, I'm not sure the advantage here. Because it looks bigger, it looks heavier, it looks weaker. But, you know, maybe it'll feel better in flight. Usually I'm looking for a motor that produces more power and they are thus more efficient. But here it, they are. They certainly are pretty. Um, do be aware that they're giving these things away for free to people to make positive reviews and trying to push hard to make them positive. Uh, I obviously don't agree with that and so you're just going to get my honest off the cuff opinions. And now there's a dog wailing in the background.